making a hot mess. I know. I'm just taking my son to school. So I'm gonna take you guys along. Enjoy the ride. and it calls for baby spring mix today. I'm gonna add my two cups of water. Three handfuls of spring mix. Add my banana. Next up is two apples. Two tablespoons of the flex seed, followed by the protein powder. The final ingredients is one third cup of frozen strawberries. Yesterday was pretty tough for me because I was out longer than I anticipated So I didn't bring the last smoothie of the day with me or did I bring any snacks with me? I almost cried because I didn't want to be defeated Even if you start this journey and you end up flipping and eating a meal because you're out or something It's okay because the modification version you can't eat a meal the what that meal can consist of I'm not sure sure so so far today i'm sorry if this is too much information i've had four bowel movements so every bowel movement that i didn't had today has been a different consistency starting with the firmness all the way down to one loose one when i looked on the back of this bottle i remember before that it tells you to take up to five capsules at bedtime with eight to twelve ounces of water on an empty stomach for seven to ten days and you decrease the dose for maintenance daily dosage will vary depending on individual and intended purposes and results may vary so on here it states three capsules is the serving size i know you can purchase these at um, the vitamin shop i purchased mine at a local health food door. Last night I didn't take five I only took four so tonight I stick with the, the three capsules as a serving. You have to remember guys to make sure you drink your water that's very important you want to make sure that you stay hydrated and you don't get dehydrated. So I'm going to drink this and I keep you updated throughout the day on how this detox journey is going. I see you guys later. Do people pause cameras like do they get desperate doing around the holiday? And if they do, maybe I can give me a good deal. We about to go in the pawn shop. Good. Do you guys have cameras? I got some right now. I have to keep going. Up. What kind of? You know, if these ones got Wi-Fi or one. Or... No, these don't. These are the very first ones that they came with. But they. Okay. What about? That one there. What? This is just a sharper image. Does it have Wi-Fi, 4K, blah blah? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she obviously she is looking like, the same uh, thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming back after the pawn shop. Yeah. I'm gonna wash some dishes and I just wanted to come quickly talk to you guys. I guess if I wash dishes, y'all can't hear me. I just wanted to check in and I'm going okay. I think in a few, I'm gonna cut up some celery and eat some carrots with some peanut butter. When you do any type of cleanse or wanna do anything as far as weight loss, it can get hard and discouraging. The thing about it is we all know we can look at a mirror and see that we're fat, right? We don't need nobody to tell us. Sometimes when I upload videos, I think to myself, like, you really have picked up some weight. But a lot of times, it's, we do emotional eating. Something cannot be going our way. And 
we eat. You can sit down and watch TV and make you hungry. There's a lot of reasons why people overeat. Do food make us feel good? Sometimes, but we know when we eating it that we shouldn't be indulging in all that food. What we have to understand is when we try to lose weight, first we need to know how many calories it takes for us to burn a pound of fat. So you need to at least burn 3,500 calories or more just to lose a pound. A healthy weight loss is if you lose one or two pounds a week. You have to have a calorie deficit of at least 500 calories a day in order to achieve that one pound weight loss. Now a lot of people what they want to do is they want to not eat. So they want to just eat one meal a day. You won't lose weight that way. So what will happen is your body will hold on to everything that you're consuming because it thinks you're starving it. Does that make sense? The more you eat the faster the weight will come off because it keeps your metabolism revved up. Those are just some of the things that was on my mind that I want to discuss with you guys. So your goal is to aim at eating something every two to three hours. We all want these quick fixes, but you have to realize you didn't gain weight overnight. It was a process. So it takes a process to lose the weight. Am I perfect? No. Would I go the whole complete 10 days without cheat. My goal is not to, but if I do, it's okay. Do that mean I'm a failure? No. It just mean that one meal I slip. On my way to pick my son up. Let's go.